being boxing, let's speak boxing. Um, just getting out the gym right now. Um, just sweating. Uh, you see the baby seat in the back. Anytime you see me in the baby seat and driving, making videos and stuff like that, I'm in the family mobile. So I'm in the SUV that, you know, um, got to have an SUV when you got, you know, kids and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm driving the family mobile. But anyways, um, let's speak boxing. I thought I'd just create a video on the way home um, before I go head out to work, go to office. Um, I created an Amir Khan video. Um, speaking about Amir Khan, his upcoming fights and his future and how I feel, at, you know, um, about him as a fighter, as a whole. Um, got a lot of questions, a lot, a lot of feedback about that. Um, a lot of shit talkers about that as well. But look, you know, it, it's my opinion. I'm entitled to my opinion. I can easily jump on the bandwagon and say Amir Khan doesn't have a chin. He's a shitty fighter. Ha ha. It's easy to do that, you know. Um, it's easy to jump on the bandwagon. Um, Amir Khan was the hottest... Uh, hottest boxer out, he gets knocked out, he, you know, he loses a couple of fights, and all of a sudden people write him off, and, but I'm not one to write anybody off whatsoever, I'm not one to, to trash talk or anyone, you know, and that's the biggest thing about boxing right now, um, people love you one day, um, you show up to fight, and it's not your night, and all of a sudden they judge you as a fighter, you know, they write you off, uh, they throw you underneath the bus, and they forget about you, and that's the big thing about boxing, you know, um, people are entitled to a bad night bad decision but the one thing about you know other sports professional sports out there you can make mistakes in baseball baseball itself um baseball is intended to fail you know you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna fail seven out of ten times and guess what you're a hall of famer you know uh basketball as well you're gonna fail and you're gonna be a hall of famer um every other sport what happens to boxing if you make a mistake you're gonna pay and you're gonna hit the canvas the big thing about it is be able to cover, come back, and, and put on a hell of a fight. Manny Pacquiao has a couple losses underneath his belt. He was able to recover, learn from his experiences, and and uh, adapt. And now he's a hell of a fighter. You know, his last couple fights that he was having, you know, it's just not the same Manny Pacquiao. Um, because why? Because he, he doesn't have knockouts. He didn't knock out the last opponents, even though he put on a fucking boxing clinic. Even though the, you know, the boxers are they were not... You know, there's so many different variables that came into play, that came into play, uh, why the Manny Pacquiao didn't knock him out. And people just, you know, they, they're quick to write somebody off and judge him. They're quick to sit there and say Manny Pacquiao doesn't have it anymore. No, it's that he doesn't have it anymore. It's just people are adapting to his style. People are studying his film. They're studying his tape. They're studying his weaknesses and changing their whole entire game plan. If you go against Manny Pacquiao and you square up, you're going to get knocked out. But if you strategically work against his weaknesses, then you have an opportunity and you have an opportunity to last. And that's exactly what's been going on. But guess what? Everybody's writing off Manny Pacquiao saying that he's over the hill or he's, you know, that's all bullshit. I hear comments and it's just, it just annoys me as a boxing fan and it just makes me laugh. It's just like, dude, like, are you fucking serious? Like, you guys are straight on the bandwagon. You know, the Giants win and I fucking walk around in Orlando, Florida and everyone's a Giants fan. Like, are you serious right now? That's just, it's just, it, it's stupid. It's retarded. You know, Amir Khan, everybody hasn't written off about Amir Khan. Yes, you know, Amir Khan's still of a hell of a fighter. People are sitting there saying that this guy doesn't know how to fucking fight. That's completely ridiculous. This guy won the silver medal um, as a medalist in the Olympics. This guy's been dominating since youth. This guy's been completely dominating. So consider him a bum. Like, some of the comments I get, it's just like, Amir Khan's a bum. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You don't know boxing and shit like that. Are you serious? Like, Amir Khan is... Um, just because he got knocked out by Danny, Danny Garcia, that doesn't, <laughs> doesn't mean to write him off and, like, he can't come back. But anyways, I just wanted to create that video to talk about that. Big fight, Adrian Broner's coming up. Adrian Broner's taking on, uh, Tony DeMarco. And, uh, I, I like, my fight prediction on that, Tony DeMarco, he, he's gonna lose. You know, I think Adrian Broner's gonna go ahead and, and win this fight. I think it's gonna be... It's going to be a, I don't think it's going to be a close fight. I think Andrew Broner is going to be a good fight the first couple rounds, and then uh, uh, Broner's just going to dominate. He's going to play dominate. Um, completely dominate in the fight. Uh, do I think he's going to win by knockout? Uh, if, if it's not a knockout, I think it's going to be a unanimous decision. You know? I don't think it's going to be a split decision whatsoever. It's going to be a landslide. I'll say uh, Adrian will win, you know, seven rounds. The majority of the rounds to pull off the victor. But anyways, guys, guys, this is Kenneth Thespian and boxing. I usually typically don't create these videos, but I think it's you know it's it's funny. You know, I like watching boxing f channels, and I'm not gonna throw out names. And these guys keep doing your thing, you know, saying your opinion, and I like it. I like the fact that people are out there 
going on a limb and actually stating opinion, they're not stating the obvious, you know. Um, but anyways, guys, friend request, subscribe. Um, this is Kenneth Nesby unboxing. Have a good one. I'm actually pulling up to the crib right now, so take it easy.